Hi. Um, so I'm trying to see if I can get some help. Um, hey, pups. Getting some of this garden taken care of. Now, the grass is growing back here in patches because I'm just kind of letting some of the uh, some of the better grass spread out a little bit. But as you can see here, some of these beds, like I planted these things back with my wife in August of 2020, and they've just been going consistently. They haven't been replanted or anything. Um, and there's a bunch of sunflowers over there that are pretty much at harvest right now. This, some of this is, most of this is charred, uh, different types of charred, and um, there's some broccoli and whatnot back there. The, the taller guy back there is, is broccoli that I've been harvesting from as needed. Um, there's a ton of these wonderful succulents that grew from a thing about half the size of this one little thing right here. You know, maybe the size of one of these guys, but you know, it's, it's massive and also flowering, and there's just a ton of extra food and well, succulents and other pretty plants around here that, that need to get uh, used. On that, this is a pineapple guava. That's a pineapple. Um, lavender, got mint kind of jumping in all around here. The bees are going crazy for this lavender right now. Um, other edible things, like I said, that's, that's spearmint that's, um, I'm trying to see, it's, it's popping up throughout, throughout, and that thing grows like a weed. Um, this green and yellow one here is a type of sage. Uh, there's a couple of rhododendrons. Um, I think that's rhododendron. I'm, I might be blanking on the name, it doesn't matter. But that particular plant is 100 years old and it's from a cutting from my grandma's house. Not important, but interesting. Um, on the herbs section here, there's another one here that's growing like a weed, there's uh, oregano. And then this thing, it's dying back, but I mean, that's just a massive rosemary bush, which that's what rosemary does. It, and it's still spreading out and still flowering. And it's, it's a lot of beautiful things, um, a lot of edible things and a lot of, um, a lot of food and seed and cuttings that could be utilized for um, distributing to, uh, to homeless um, shelters and facilities or to for the food drives or, or any of those things. And I'd really love to get some of this stuff out. I mean, this is, this is really high quality. <laughs> um, yummy stuff here and it's 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 huge it's overgrown and it's uh it's all it's all organic it's all you know the fertilizer is in the backyard we've got chickens and whatnot but up here you know i've kind of been using this uh all this stuff here and chop it and drop it and those things actually have a bunch of um they're they're nitrogen fixing so they they feed the ground um in the in the time when there's not plants growing there excuse me so that's the that's the gist i'd love to make it available somehow um that's all also um there's a whole bunch of things there's another couple of gardens here this one is the traditional garden which is very empty now because it was used as a chicken coop for the last few months because they have the most amazing fertilizer <clears throat> so to speak Leg legitimately though it's uh it's it's wonderful and you know they're back they're back in that corner now but you can see here there's all sorts of wonderful we got a grapefruit tree it is dying to be picked some blueberries in there they're over a uh, little little covered up uh, up, up i lost them up there there i'm covered up in there different roses uh some salvia plants all sorts of different awesome fruit trees um in total i think there's something like i think there's something like 150 perennials um trees themselves is something like 40 or 50 in a very small less than quarter acre property here um and i just want to get you know all of these things are fruiting trees there's four cherry trees in the span of about 10 feet uh, patanga tuba random florida plant um and there's another four i think four cherries on that one and there is a little blueberry that's just starting to flower. And I cut back all of these, but this is a, you know, a bunch of different raspberries and blackberries, white blackberries, um, black raspberries, etc. And yeah, it's a pretty cool little little tunnel. But yeah, the one thing I want to fix up is I want to get rid of these lights that are crossing here. That's not important, but this water system is a wonderful little. Uh, 
over there on the left, or I don't know what that side is going to be, but that side of the screen, there's a little waterfall thing, and it's being fed by a pump at the bottom of this pond. As you can see, the water has been going down, and it's only about, I don't know, knee deep, but I'd like to rethink the water system here to uh, connect the water to the entire property. And on that note, this is the grape tunnel. I gotta get this thing pruned back before it pops again, but dragon fruit's down there, and then those cuttings, um, you know, they're really easy to, I have tons and tons and tons of cuttings that could go out to people, they can be sold. Um, and the chickens are currently in the goji berry area, uh, which is about, I don't know, 10, 15, feet by 10 or 15 feet and that is something that I think it fetches something like 50 bucks a, a pound for dried berries uh, and it just grows like a weed so yeah blackberries are spreading that was a uh, morning glory as you can see there's one left here pretty little flower but they also grow pretty wild here so that's the gist I'd just love to get some of this food out to people and I'd love to start using this as a uh, it's a bit of an educational um, place. Great word. Um, uh, you know, an educational thing for, I don't know, for kids or for, for adults to um, just to kind of showcase what can happen in a very small environment if we utilize the space well and teach people how to utilize their land, fig tree. Um, that's... It's a special uh, uh, citron uh, in, in ceremonial Jewish things. I can't remember, Assad or something like that. Citron, not important, but there's another fig tree. A couple other things up here. You can see a, the water that was coming here. It goes into this little area here. And that tree is called an ice cream bean tree. And it's supposed to be delicious and be a monstrous, monstrous tree. And they call it the Ayla tree because it was planted right around the same time she was couple of years ago and hopefully it hopefully she outlives it but we'll see how, how that goes i don't know how long those live but really long so that's the gist